Want to give a special shout out to Casper for requesting this two minute tutorial. And if you've got an idea for a future tutorial, comment down below. Now, let's talk about tags. Tags are additional metadata that you can attach to your Azure resources or resource groups. And if you've watched any of my videos in the past, you know that everything should always have tags. Add your tags, because you should always have tags. So hit next and add your tags. Add all of your standard tags, like I know you will. And this is where we can add some tags. But why? What do they do for us? Now, a tag is a key and value pair. And that's the greatest thing about tags, is I can make them anything that I need to. The bad thing about tags is I can make them anything I want to. Now, you may have a tag like application and your values could be like Windows Virtual Desktop, DevOps, Networks, etc. But what if somebody made a tag of application, Mickey Mouse? And that kind of tag probably doesn't add value to you. So coming up with a good tagging strategy of what adds value in your environment will help you to not only organize things and understand the cost, the billing, who owns it, who's responsible for it, who supports it. Now these things can be implemented through Azure policy automatically on your resource groups and resources, but you can also automate against them. Let me give you a quick example and we're done. I've deployed my brand new VMs in the month of February based on my February updated image. I've tagged all of the systems with a key of image and a value of February. Now it's March. My new March image is ready and I've provisioned all of the VMs that I need for WVD. And now I need to clean up all those old systems. I have an Azure Runbook and it is looking for any VM that has a tag of image equals February. And the Runbook has multiple steps where it will first put all of those February systems into drain mode, then it will turn them off, and then it will delete and clean up after them. And this process could be further automated by tying it into your DevOps pipeline so that when you provision those March VMs, that is a trigger that initiates the Runbook and now your update stream is fully automated. And that is just the taste of what tags could do for you in your environment. Remember, if you're not adding tags to everything you're provisioning in the cloud, you are doing it wrong. So start using your tags and comment below with any questions you have and with what you'd like to see in our next two minute tutorial. Happy learning.